What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. This is gonna be a quick video, but recently RetroArch 1.76 has been released and we have a new menu driver or a new menu theme as some people like to call it. Personally, I use RetroArch a lot, but it's behind LaunchBox and BigBox, and sometimes I do bring up just RetroArch to play my favorite retro games. Every time I do a video on it, I get a comment saying that they hate the XMB theme. And I'm gonna show you what that is now. This is the XMB theme, and recently I did a video showing you how to change it on different devices, but a new one has been added, which I'm really digging right now. We're gonna head over to Drivers, scroll down until we see Menu, and you can see we're at XMB. There's a new one called Ozone. Now this was originally designed for the Nintendo Switch, but it's available for all devices as long as you're on 1.7.6. So I'm just gonna back up, and I always like to save my configuration file and I'm gonna quit. Now I'm gonna restart. And here we are, this is the new Ozone interface for RetroArch. If you enable this theme and you see a couple black boxes over on the side here, it's easy to fix that. We just need to go to Online Updater and we're gonna Update Assets. And that's just gonna download all the assets we need for this menu driver and you won't see any black boxes or missing icons. So this is a really nice menu driver or theme, whatever you wanna call it. The only issue is you can't get box art yet. As of making this video on 1.76, we don't have box art. I've just imported a couple games here to show you that they'll be listed at the bottom here. We can also change the way this looks a little bit by going to settings and scroll down until we see user interface. Appearance. Menu color. It's set to basic black, but you can set it to basic white. Now, some people might like this a little more, but I like the black interface. It just seems a little easier to look at. I'm gonna go back to that. So we'll go to appearance, menu color theme, basic black. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Like I said, it was gonna be a quick one. I just wanted to show this off because I do get a ton of comments saying that they hate the X and B theme. And I think this is an awesome option if you don't wanna deal with that. Very easy to enable, and I can't wait for more features like box art. That's the only thing I'm not liking about this new menu driver, but let me know what you guys think. Really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.